Christians all over the world have for centuries observed December 25th as the day the Savior, Jesus Christ, was born. This day is normally seen as a day of reflection for many Christians on the huge impact the birth of Christ has had on the world and in their lives. On this day, many Christians celebrate the occasion by attending church services to sing songs of praise and share words of exaltation. Joining the celebrations at the Victory Bible Church International today was the Vice President of Ghana, Dr. Mahamo Dubalmia. Aside thanking God for victory in the just-ended elections, he encouraged all Ghanaians, Christians and non-Christians, to practice what the Bible says about showing love to each other to maintain the country's peace. For us as a country, we have come a long way and had a history of peaceful coexistence amongst ourselves, despite the diversity of tribes, religion, ethnicity, and so on. Even in our diversity, we have always remained indivisible, and what we have in common are in excess of what divides us. It is this love for each other underpinned by the biblical love your neighbor as thyself, that today Ghana is rated as the most peaceful country in West Africa. The head pastor of the Victory Bible Church International, Bishop Taki Yaboy, also stressed on the need for peace among politicians and political parties in the country. So this is the time that we should have good will for one another. And I want to say, may there be good will among the politicians of Ghana. Because we are all one people. So peace on earth and then good will. When you have goodwill towards somebody, he will offend you. So, it is, this is the season that we want to appeal to all Ghanaians. We want to appeal to all politicians, all political parties. Let us have goodwill because it's a Christmas season. In the Christmas Day service at the Action Chapel International Ministry, the church's general overseer, Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams, admonished Ghanaians to keep observing the COVID-19 principles as the country is not yet out of the woods. All over Ghana and Africa, let's give God credit and praise for his goodness and his mercy. That is not to say we should take advantage and we should relax. We should still keep all the protocols, not take anything for granted. But let's realize that I believe that because we are a people without medical insurance, God has just chosen to have mercy on us. But how are Christians celebrating the Christmas this year, looking at the impact COVID-19 has had on organizing church services? The wife of the head pastor of the Ringway Assemblies of God Church at Osu, Mrs. Grace Ajay, spoke to City News. With the COVID around, a lot of changes because washing of hands, the social distancing. So now we cannot take a lot of people in the church as we normally do. Like today being the Christmas day, we would have even had overflow. But uh, because of the COVID, uh, the children and the uh, nursing mothers are all at home. They couldn't come. So it's just a few of us who are in the church today. 2021, the church is looking forward for a normal life. Some congregants of the Ringway Assemblies of God Church and Shalom Congregation of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana shared with City News how different this year's celebration had been because of the COVID-19 pandemic. This time, is we are not in a normal time, we know, but to God be the glory, he has seen us through. So for only that, we are celebrating for giving us life and him coming to this earth for us. We are celebrating him and life that we are having now. This Christmas is unique in all ways. It's like there's tension in the country. We, we, it's, it's a fact. We can't run away from it. So everybody is very, very careful. Not like the other years, there are parties, there are 19, uh, nightclubs and those things. It's not like that this year. This year everybody is cautious because you, you don't know who the person you are um, 
talking to is. And so there's so much tension in the country. This year Christmas, you know, during the you know, during the COVID time, because of the COVID, the disaster that came came up and during the election, you know, Christmas has been like um, uh, Christmas is not really we know in Ghana, in Ghana particularly that um, you see people around playing music, you see people singing Christmas, but because of the the election, you know, people are saying there are no money in around. That's why this year Christmas is a little bit dark. They also shared their expectations and dreams for the coming year, 2021. <laughs> Se onwa be manen sasu na ya we ya manie ma anko yi no afi 2021 no onwa hu ne ma mobo na o ma ye nya ya resa in the next year we hope for a better Ghana and have help the need the need the needy and also live at peace with everyone in life every rotten situation there's something good in it so 2020 may um, may be a rotten situation but something good came out of it and i believe that god you know uh, when the fruit gets rotten and then the plant is growing in it grows new so 2021 will be new and whatever 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 that evil 2020 took away from us god will give it back to us i'm hoping for a better year we don't want to experience um 2020 with 2021 but for myself i'm praying by next year everything will be fine for me and god will open the doors for me so that i get a beautiful lady to marry for city news my name is ellen dapa